Candyland vs. Fairyland by Kira Basquell, Lauren Clancy and Sandra Javachadze. Once upon a time, there were two lands that were extreme rivals. The massive rivalry was between Candyland and Fairyland. It all started on a foggy Christmas Eve when Candyland members appeared at a land where you could hear the flutter of fairy wings, which is led by Candyland's leader, Jellybean Julie. Although she was small, she was tough, strong, cheeky and a great leader. She had black hair, green eyes, freckles and a determined look on her face. On the other hand, Fairyland's leader, Butterfly Bella, was shy, sensitive and quiet but a true leader. She had blonde hair, blue eyes, tall, pink butterfly wings and a wand in her hand. You could feel the tension in the air when they came face to face. On that same day, Candyland showed up at Fairyland. Butterfly Bella noticed their arrival and quickly called the team. They assembled in large groups led by Butterfly Bella. Everyone was ready for battle when they confronted each other. The battle began and both sides were well armoured. Candyland's arsenal consisted of gummy guns with Maltese or ammunition, jelly bean grenades and candy cane pitchforks. On the other hand, Fairyland had an abundance of tiaras that shoot lasers, wings that can create tornadoes along with wands that shoot out aura spheres and much more. Candyland started the fight by shooting explosive Malteser ammo out of the gummy guns. Fairyland fought back by firing aura spheres here and there. 20 minutes into the war, Santa appeared in Fairyland with his reindeers. Santa lets out a big yell. You must end this war immediately. Jellybean Julie replied, Who do you think you are? Fairyland began circling around Santa and created a tornado. The tornado was strong enough to kill the 300 pound Santa. When they realised what they did, they stopped fighting. Then they all became great friends. A, co a couple of days later, both lands attended Santa's funeral. Both team leaders did a memorial speech. It was a very sad day for everyone. They all felt so bad. The end.